Meanwhile, Governor Inslee says he's okay with fines if it convinces someone to move out of a tent along state highways. He also said if the state is providing someone shelter, they can't remain camped along the highway. Fox 13's Matt Markovich questioned the governor today about state efforts to remove encampments from state highways. Governor Inslee pumping up a new $800 million program to finance shelter housing, but with some caveats. He also used strong language today saying if people are offered shelter and they're living along the highway, they have to take it or move. For years, the state has been criticized for not dealing with the encampments along state highways, leaving it up to cities and counties. A frustrated Seattle mayor, Bruce Harrell, threatened to tear up a city agreement with the state because the state wasn't moving quickly enough. Because I do not want to move at the pace by which the state may want to move. I want to move at our pace, which is fast. The governor now announcing a change in speed. An all new approach that allows us to scale up our efforts much more quickly. $800 million for cities to buy hotels, create tiny house villages, rapid housing, he called it, with a big caveat. If cities create shelters with state money, people camping along state highways get first priority. They can't just ignore the people living on the interstates. They're going to need to cooperate. Frankly, a couple of cities I won't mention that haven't done that yet. But the state's plan still relies on cities like Seattle to provide outreach services, although the state has more skin in the game because it's willing to pay for it. Is the state doing all it can to remove these camps in a timely fashion? If we provide this uh, housing options for them, there's no reason that people should not avail themselves of it. And if people refuse? They will simply have to comply with the law, which is they'll need to go. It's the first get tough attitude we've heard from the governor regarding those who refuse a housing option. The governor saying state patrol could be called in to enforce trespassing laws and he's okay with the idea of fining people. If it takes a fine to convince them to move their tent, then I would say yes. If you're pitching a tent on the shoulder of I-5, you're gonna, and, and we provide shelter with supportive services, then you will need to, to, to move, and there's just no question about that. The governor made his remarks during a press briefing this afternoon. He also said he would not lift the COVID vaccine mandate for state employees and he's not considering a statewide mask mandate with the new increasing numbers of COVID cases in the state. In Olympia, Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News.